In this video, I'm going to go over the difference between a vector file and a raster file. This is super important, especially if you want high quality graphics and images so you could print them. Simply put, a rasterized file will get very blurry if you zoom it in. Um, it could be a really, really big file, but even if it's really big, at some point it's going to get very, very blurry. See this right here? Where a vector file will never, never get blurry. Let's go and open up this vector file and, and make it bigger. You'll notice this vector file is always going to stay sharp because it has this technology used by a mathematical algorithm that keeps it very sharp. So it doesn't matter how big I blow this up, you could see the edges and the corners of this will stay really sharp. So that means you could print this on anything you want and uh, that will stay that color. Also, what's great about a vector file is you could take it and you could color it easily without losing its quality as well. So I could take this and I could just start adding colors to it and doing whatever I want with this file here. And I'm on Logo Maker without the L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R.com. I'll put it in the description below where you could convert your uh, icons or your graphics into a uh, vector file. So if you wanted to, you could click this upload and it will convert a PNG uh, or JPEG into uh, that file. So it took this image and it converted it. Now uh, when you print it out and you save it, you'll get a really nice sharp image. And this is super important for printing and stuff like that. Um, this is uh, like some common uh, files for this is uh, SVG, PDF, or ESP. Those are vector type files. Logomaker gives you a, a PDF and a SVG as well. And those are really, really good files for, for printing. Um, for this other one is JPEG. Let me put that down. JPEG, JPEG or PNG files. They're, they're good for the web, but at some point for printing or for editing, you do want both. You do want to have a vector file so that you can manipulate it, play with it. And especially if you put it on canvases like Logomaker or some uh, Adobe Illustrator, you want to have a vector file. 